Hey there, people of YouTube, Max Callum here, and of course this is another double edition of Double X Vlogs and Max. Figured I'd do another video vlog for the hell of it. And yeah, interesting thing happened to me yesterday. Well, partly yesterday and today, this kind of got me upset. And basically what happened to me is as most of you who watch my videos will know, I, I was recently talking about how I was going to go get another, be going to get another memory card for my decamp. So yesterday I went up to Walmart and found a um, decamp memory card. And for those of you who don't know what decamp means, digital camera. But anyway, I got a decamp memory card. And I basically get home. I didn't try it out till today. But the interesting thing was when I did try it out today, I basically took it out of the package. It was a pain in the ass actually because the package was really a pain in the butt to get open. It was one of those packages where, you know what I mean, like those packages that you see in stores where they package something so well that it's a pain in the ass to get out of the package when you finally do buy it and get it home. So yeah, it took me a while. I practically had to cut the whole package itself apart just to get the memory card out. So I got the memory card out, I put it in, and what do I find? Apparently, I turn on my camera after I put the memory card in, and instead of finding that I got a memory card full of room for pictures and videos and stuff, a little screen comes up on my camera saying that the memory card is full, and I was like, what the heck is this that's going on? I mean, I didn't get the me I got, didn't get a, f I didn't want a full memory card. I wanted a memory card that I could store pictures and videos on and stuff like that. And it actually really upset me when I finally got the memory card in, only to find that the memory card was full, which doesn't make any sense because it's a brand new memory card. It shouldn't be full at all, but apparently it was. And it just frustrated me because I spent 14, 15 bucks on a memory card only to put it in my camera and find out that it's full. Don't know how it got full. It shouldn't have been full, but it just frustrates me because you get a memory card for your camera, you're thinking you're going to be able to use it, and you put it in and you find out, no, you're not going to be able to use it. And some of you are probably wondering, well, if it's full, why don't you just delete whatever's on it and make it empty again. And just so you know, I have tried that, but apparently I can't delete anything that is on the memory card off of it to make it empty and be full. So now I'm basically going to be taking the memory card back, not too happy about it because I was really looking forward to having a secondary memory card so I could do one for videos and one for photos with my camera. But apparently I'm going to have to take it back, going to get my money back for it, and it just really pissed me off. I mean, honestly, whoever made that memory card, I don't know what you did to it, but you must have did something to it because there's no reason it should have been full when I put it in my camera. So yeah, I figure I'll take it back and get the money back for it and probably put the money towards going to see the new Harry Potter movie because I'm really looking forward to that, don't get me wrong. Commercial makes it look amazing. It's kind of a sad thing though that this is going to be the last Harry Potter because, I don't know, I've just been really enjoying it. I've never read any of the books, mind you, not because I don't want to, but because of the fact that I'm one of those people that get sleepy reading novels. I don't know why I get sleepy reading novels. It just happens, and yeah. So yeah, so on Facebook today, on my Facebook today, I found out that a person had started this petition for little Kaylee Anthony, which those of you who have 
been following my videos or following the case in Anthony trial will know that Kaylee is of course the, the two-year-old daughter of Casey Anthony who got killed by her mother and who I honestly think shouldn't have didn't deserve to die and I know there's a lot of people that are with me on that at least I'd imagine there'd be a lot of people because sweet innocent little girl and she shouldn't have died but anyway I came across this petition and I actually wanted to sign it but then I go to the website only to find out that the only way I can sign it is to give them my address and my phone number and zip code and stuff like that and that's something I have no intention of giving out to some random website because you never know where that information could end up. It could end up in the hands of some kind of hacker that would use it to steal your identity. And yeah, I did really want to sign the petition, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't because the stupid, th the stupid petition asked for my address and I'm not one of those people that's going to go and willy-nilly give out their address to some random website who could use it to steal my identity or do other stuff with it. So yeah, I should wish I could have signed it. I posted about it on my Facebook. Hopefully other people will sign it. It's apparently to put a law through called Kaylee's Law, which I think is a great idea. To be honest though, I probably should have read what the Kaylee Sloth thing was about, I guess, because I didn't really take the time to do that. But I'm sure it's um, law that they I'm sure it's a really good law that they want to put in place to protect other little kids and stuff like that. But yeah. SmackDown was great last night. Didn't really get what the whole Christian Randy Orton thing is up with lately. I mean honestly it's kind of getting boring seeing those two go head to head. And it's interesting that Christian just can't seem to see the fact that he isn't as good of a wrestler as Orton and he just doesn't see that surprisingly enough. And yeah. So I'm having a great day. I actually recently became a fan of a girl some YouTubers might know by the name of Tara Bush. She's this really pretty, really pretty, really sexy model slash wrestler slash actress chick. And she's got to be like single-handedly one of the hottest women I have ever seen. And I totally mean that too. I mean, this girl has an incredible body on her. Like, totally, I envy any guy who's been lucky enough to date her because her body is absolutely perfect and she's just so freaking gorgeous and drop dead sexy. But, yeah. Anyhow, see, not much has really happened. I wish I had more to talk about. I will be getting a new jean jacket soon. Gonna be getting it from a good friend, Barb. So I'm looking forward to that. She's got it on hold for me right now. Can't wait to get my hands on it. It'll be nice to have another jean jacket, even though I already have one where the sleeves can come off. But yeah. Anyway, weekend's going good so far. Oh, by the way, to those of you out there, you should, to those of you out there that um like interesting videos. There's this guy named Awesome CCs. It's all in like lowercase letters, the name of his name on YouTube. Awesome and then followed by it's all one word followed by CCZs. You should really check out this guy's page. I wouldn't be promoting it if I didn't think it was a good page. He actually started this new little show of his which I thought was pretty in it's uh, pretty good for his first attempt at a show and I can't wait to see his, the next video he does for his show the new show that he's doing. I always like watching his vlogs 
don't know what it is about them, they just really interest me. Well, most of them anyway. Some of them I don't really take the time to watch all the way through. Not because I don't want to, but because, well, kind of, I guess, because I don't really want to, because they don't really interest me, and that's his gaming vlogs. But other than that, I pretty much watch all his other vlogs and stuff like that. But, yeah. It's a good day today. Sun shining. Wish it was nice and cool, but hey, what can you do? Anyway, this has been another Double X Vlogs of Max. I'm Max Callen, and I'll see you later, people.